But Lauren, uh, with the Dow down nearly a thousand points, we start with you. Yeah. Well, I guess the good news is it was off the lows of the session, right? This is ugly. What a way to start the new month and the new quarter. Uh, Dow down 973 points. Broad sell-off. In fact, markets down three in the past four days. Look, the president said it's going to be a tough two weeks, and then we saw the number of coronavirus infections here in the U.S. top 200,000, and investors, if they were spooked, they got more spooked. Boeing and American Express, by the way, leading the losses on the Dow today. Setting the tone this morning was that private employment number. But you know what? It's an old number. It only counted about half of March before these lockdowns uh, in states throughout the country. That was a negative number. It sets us up for what we're going to see tomorrow morning, uh, the unemployment, uh, unemployment benefits. Those numbers, Goldman Sachs is saying we can see 5.5 million people file for first-time unemployment benefits tomorrow. Five and a half million on top of the 3.3 million we saw in the week before. So that's an ugly part of the story. So too is the price of oil just cratering. Uh, we expect to see a meeting on Friday between Exxon and Chevron and Occidental and Continental. Their executives meeting with the president about what to do about this oil crash. So oil and energy certainly helped lead markets lower today. Overall, it's a dash for cash. We see that in the safety trade, right? Investors uh, flocking to treasuries. But if you take a look at a couple of names here, and, and some of these names have individual stories around them, too, like Macy's, it's knocked out of the S&P 500. Uh, and Marriott, they have a data breach in the midst of all of this. But all of these companies, Sabre and Lazy Boy, what they're doing is because they need cash, instead of cutting health care benefits for their employees, they're reducing, suspending some of their 401k matching contributions for workers. So with that, I send it back to you guys.